Assalamu alaikum today we will learn what is network topology its types and how they differ from one another let's start network topology is how computer connects or relate to one another in a computer network it is of two types physical topology and logical topology where physical topology describes the way computer connects within the help of cables logical topology describes the way data flows from one computer to another within the computer network The most common computer network used to interconnect physically distributed computer is local area network which has three main topologies star topology bus topology and ring topology others are mesh topology and hybrid topology please note that the data in the network layer in the form of ip packets ip packets are packed into frames in the data link layer physical link layer then transmits the frames into transmission media So in a computer network data moves from one computer to another in the form of frames the same term will be used in our further discussion we will learn one by one about all network physical topologies in our further next videos stay connected starting with the bus topology in a bus topology computers connect to the shared central cable called bus with tap and drop lines Shared means that all connected computer use the same cables for data frame transmissions. Tap or connectors and drop lines are cables running in between computers and the bus. In this topology if the computer send data frame to second computer all other computers connected to the same central cable also receive the frame that is other computer can hear what is first computer is saying. However the target computer only accept it. other computers reject the frame by checking the destination mac address in the received frame suppose you are distributing prizes as per the result of the competition you asked ali to come on the stage for his reward so only ali will go and collect the prize same is in the case of bus topology only that computer accepts the frame to whom it is addressed to Since bus topology required less cabling so it is easy to install and less expensive to implement as compared to other topologies however with the increase in the length of central cable and increase in the count of taps the strength of signal decreases so only a limited number of computers can be connected in a bus topology in this topology all the computer depends on the central cables for data frame transmissions so if the central cable fails it paralyzes the whole network that is bus topology has a very little fault tolerance here a security risk also exists because all computers can hear what other computers are saying on the shared media in a bus topology only one computer can transmit data at the same time so while one computer is sending a file to printer other computers have to wait if other computers to start sending data at the same time it will collide and corrupt the whole data in such a case data should be retransmitted therefore if more computers connects to the same central cable the network will become slow and also increase the chances of data collisions it is one of the reason why bus topology is rarely used in the modern computer networks The collision can be avoided by using an access control protocol. For example, carrier sends multiple access with collision detection is a protocol. Example of bus topology is a Ethernet LAN. Now ring topology. In a ring topology, each computer connects to two adjacent computers to form a ring. Data transmitted by one computer moves from one computer to another in a circular fashion to reach its final destination. The advantages of ring topology are easy installation and less cabling. In this topology data moves in one direction only. It reduces the chance of data packets collisions. The ring topology is relatively easy to troubleshoot because we only need to locate a computer who stop receiving data from its upstream neighbors. However, as each data frame has to pass all computers between the source and destination, it makes data transmission slow than the star topology. Since all computers connect to form a closed loop, one fault paralyzes the whole network. It is difficult to reconfigure because we need to break a ring to add or remove to computer due to this reason. 
the physical ring topology is rarely used instead logical ring topology is used example of ring topology is token ring token ring does not use a physical ring topology instead it uses physical star and logical ring topology in which data moves in a circular fashion token ring use token passing protocol where a frame called token keeps on circulating on the ring if one computer has data frame to transmit it holds a token and transmits the frame once transmission is done the token is released into the network a token ring network is deterministic meaning each connected computer is given access for transmission at fixed time of intervals therefore a network can have one physical topology and entirely different logical topology at the same time next is star topology in star topology computers connects to the central device a switch or a hub with point to point communication links point to point connections means that there is a dedicated link or a cable between the two devices other devices cannot use it in this topology if one computer wants to send some data frame to another computer it is first routed to the central device the central device then either broadcast or unicast the received data frame towards the destination computer based on the type of central device used broadcast means that the transmission of data to all connected devices while unicast means the transmission of data to the target device only if the central device is a hub it broadcasts the received frame to all the connected computers that is a hub is multi port repeater the frame has a destination mac address which is unique to every computer present in the network so only target computer accepts the frame other discards the frame since a hub broadcasts the received frame so it increases unnecessary data traffic in the network to overcome these limitations a switch is used as a central device because switch is more intelligent device than hub every computer has a unique mac address a switch stores the mac address of devices connected to its ports it is called a switch table since data frames it receives has a destination mac address and the switch knows that the device with mac address mac2 is connected to the port p2 so switch forwards the received data frame to port 2 only hence instead of broadcasting the switch unicast the frame suppose your computer is connected to a printer with a star topology network now you click on print from your computer to print a file the file is sent to the central device if the central device is a hub the file is forwarded to all connected computers however only printer accepts it on the other hand if the central device is a switch the file is sent to printer only that is unicast transmissions moreover when your computer is busy is sending a file to printer computer a and b can also communicate with each other without affecting the computer printer link that is switched connections allow simultaneous communication on the other hand hubs allows only one device to communicate at a time please note that if the destination mac address in the frame is ethernet broadcast address then the switch also broadcast the received frame in star topology only one input output port and cable is needed for each device to connect to several devices it makes it less expensive than mesh topology it is also easy to reconfigure because we can add or remove devices simply by connecting or disconnecting one cable if one cable connected to the central device fails only one communication link goes down and not the entire network so star topology has a good fault tolerance fault detection is also easy because we only need to locate a computer which is not receiving data however if the central device goes down the whole network is paralyzed one more limitation in star topology is number of computers in a network is limited by the number of input output ports in a central device example of star topology is high speed lan now we proceed to what mesh topology in a fully connected mesh topology each device has a point to point link to every device in a network 
therefore if the number of devices in a network is 4 then the number of links or cables each device have in 4 minus 1 which is 3 now we have 4 devices therefore total number of links or cable 4 devices have is 4 into 4 minus 1 that is 12 note that there are simplex links in simplex links data can move in one directions only so one link is used for sending data and the other is used for receiving data from the adjacent computer duplex links are the ones where data can move in both directions therefore we can replace the two simplex links with one duplex link hence the total number of duplex links is mass topology is 4 into 4 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 6 in general if there are n devices total number of simplex links are n into n minus 1 the total number of duplex links are n into n minus 1 divided by 2 and the total number of input output ports in each device are n minus 1 so if the total number of computers to be connected is 10 the total number of duplex links will be 45 and each device should have 9 input output ports which would be difficult to manage and also increase the cost. However, dedicated point-to-point -point link eliminates the traffic problems which are connected if a link is shared among several devices. The dedicated point-to-point -point links maintain privacy and security of messages shared between two devices because other computers cannot hear what computer A is saying to computer B. If one link fails, it does not affect the whole network that is good for tolerance since each device is connected to every device so installation is difficult multiple input ports and large number of cables increase the cost and make it expensive more cables in mesh topology consume large space too examples of mesh topology in the connection between regional telephone office all topologies are interconnected to form a hybrid topology. Now every topology has its merits and demerits. So while choosing a physical topology for a network, we should have always considered its cost, ease of installation, ease of maintenance and ease of cable fault tolerance. Viewers, if you have learned something from this video, please like this video, share this video so that more people can learn. Subscribe to Softterms if you want to learn more and turn the notification on. Thanks for watching.